Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Killer Party, released in 1986. Killer Party stars Martin Hewitt, Ralph Seymour, Elaine Wilkes, Joanna Johnson, Paul Bartell, Sherry Willis Birch, Alicia Fleer, Woody Brown, and Terry Hawks. Killer Party was directed by William Fruitt. Now, this one was written by Barney Cohen. Um, Barney Cohen had, uh, prior to this, uh, had written for the Friday the 13th films. And uh, very good writer. And this story is a really interesting slasher film. Um, and it's got a great cast. Um, Martin Hewitt is very likable in the role of Blake. Um, Ralph Seymour is a very lovable, uh, goofball character playing Martin in here. Elaine Wilkes is really cute, um, as the character of Phoebe. As is, uh, Sherry Willis- Birch as Vivia. And of course, there's Joanna Johnson playing the character of Jennifer Beatty. Um, Joanna Johnson would go on to become a big soap opera mainstay. And um, this film just showed that she should have and could have been a actress in many more movies instead of just being relegated to a soap actress. But unfortunately, um, the studio did not let William Fruitt's vision be made clear. Um, this film was released through uh, MGM and they released it to the theaters in a very cut down version, thanks to the MPAA. Um, and unfortunately, they didn't keep the original cut for future home video releases and everything. Um, and that, that sucks because I would love to see this film in its uncut glory because what the MPA did to this film is a travesty. Um, every time a kill is starting to happen, they cut away. Um, and that really sucks because this whole movie, even without the gore, is still a great film. And the twist ending, which um, if you have not seen this film, please, wherever you can find this film, go find it right now. Do not finish watching this review if you want to be spoiled on this. Um, and I implore you to see this film anyway. Even if it is, you know, even though there is no uncut version of this, uh, that I'm aware of that anyone has access to. Um, just, just watch it in its, in its R rated, supposedly R rated, um, version and then come back and finish my review. Um, because the twist ending is one of the coolest moments I think I've ever had in an experience in a slasher film um, because you know, this whole time it's more just like a slasher film where a hidden killer, you're not seeing who they are. And then all of a sudden when you do see them, they're wearing this very unique costume of this uh, old school underwater diving outfit with the helmet, with the little weird mask and everything. And, it is just such a cool looking uh, outfit for a killer. You know, it's not 
makes the killer slow as fuck, but <laughs> because it's a, you know, really heavy outfit. But um, when the character is revealed to be Joanna Johnson's Jennifer Beatty, who is possessed by the spirit of this killer. Um, that was a great twist. So much so that it inspired me in my writing to do Then the Night Comes. And uh, that's where my twist from Then the Night Comes, um, if you have seen that film. Um, it was all inspired by this film. It was because of this film. If it wasn't for this film, Then the Night Comes wouldn't have ever happened, probably. This film inspired that. Um, but I cannot say enough good about this film. I just, like I said, I just wish that there was a unrated, if there is, if any of you out there know of a, you know, uncut version of this that nobody else knew about, get it out there, please. I want to see this. I want to see this the way it was meant to be seen because I love the film as it is. So my final review for Killer Party from 1986. I am going to give this film a 8.9 out of 10. God, this film could have been a 10 out of 10, I think, had the MPA not fucked it over. Because the story, the acting, everything about it is just great. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified about future videos. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. Well, that's the end of another horror movie night. Hope you will join us tomorrow for another Dark Knight Films night. Until then, thanks for watching.